Making his debut in the middleweight division, 154 pounds, Conor Ben returns to the ring after a long layoff over some drug testing controversy. While being under investigation over the failed drug test, Conor Ben was unable to acquire a professional boxing license. He was approved in the state of Florida and he made his return against Rodolfo Orozco, 32 wins, 3 losses. This was a 10 round fight. The fight did go the distance. Conor Ben won a clear unanimous decision. Ben started off really strong, landing a lot of clean right hands. But since this was his first time in the division, I guess it was kind of both. You can see the, the long layoff kind of gave him some ring rust. It was taking him some rounds to get adjusted. And being that he's in a bigger division, he's fighting more durable guys now. His punches might not have the same effect as they did in his last weight class, 147. Good for him, though, to get a return and to get those rounds in. Before this fight, before the failed drug test, he was actually scheduled to fight Chris Eubank Jr. at a catch weight of, I believe it was 157 pounds. I never thought that was a good fight for Conor Ben, and I'm actually a fan of him, but... We just had the biggest fight at welterweight take place. There's one undisputed champion now, Terrence Crawford. We're not sure who he's going to fight next. The rumors are he is going to rematch Arrow at 147 or 154. If Crawford was to just move up in weight and vacate all those titles, I feel like that division is going to be wide open. And there's plenty of good fights for Conor Ben to have at 147. Guys like Cody Crowley, Keith Thurman, um, Jerron Ennis. I'm not a big fan of catchweight fights to begin with, so I feel like with the performance that he just had, he, it could be ring rust. It could be the power not translating. I just feel like a fight at, at a catchweight of 157 against a, a fighter like Chris Eubank Jr., it's a big fight for um, where Conor Ben is from, um, you know, the UK. But like I said, if Crawford was to vacate the titles, I think the division is going to be wide open. A fight that's about to happen at welterweight is um your Dennis Ugas and Mario Barrios. I feel like Conor Ben has a good chance against the winner of that fight. Winning a title at his first weight class, 147, would make a lot more sense to me rather than a catchweight super fight.